Hello YouTube viewers, hope you're all doing good and uh, welcome to this video. This, um, well, in this video, uh, let's see how you can deploy a quick Nginx application into your uh, Kubernetes cluster on uh, GKE. Right, um, I've done two earlier videos on GKE. The first one is how to set up your G Cloud uh, SDK and how you can connect to the um, uh, the Google Cloud Console, um, enable your free credits and creating a project. And on the second video, I've shown you how to um, create your first Kubernetes cluster from the web console as well as from the, uh, the G Cloud command line. So this is a follow up to that video. And uh, in this video, we'll quickly deploy an Nginx application to see how it works. Right, um, G Cloud. Right, I've got G Cloud. Um, okay, let's go to G Cloud container clusters list. So I've got one container, one cluster quick demo with uh, three nodes. Um, let me log into the Google Cloud Console. Um, okay, I'm logged in and I'm going to go to the Kubernetes engine and clusters. Okay, so that's the cluster we created uh, in the previous video and I'm going to click uh, connect. I'm going to copy that one and paste it here. I'm going also going to paste it here. Okay, let's see if we can connect to the cluster. kubectl cluster info. Yes, we can. kubectl get nodes. Cool, we've got uh, three working nodes. Watch kubectl get all. That's the default Kubernetes service. Let's try to deploy uh, an Nginx application. So we could either deploy it um, here uh, from the command line using kubectl, which we are familiar with, or we could uh, deploy it directly in here. So if you select uh, the cluster and select deploy, um, container image, nginx latest, uh, environment variables, I don't want anything, initial command, that's optional, add container application name, nginx deploy, uh, namespace is default, uh, key, add label, and on which uh, cluster you want to deploy, we only got one cluster. So quick demo, uh, deploy, view YAML, and so on. Add environment variable, create a deployment. So add a container. I can't find an option to specify how many replicas I need. It says create a deployment. Kubernetes will ensure your system matches this configuration. OK, so is it adding another? container uh, nginx latest no add container no okay so let's first check that from the uh, command line and then we can come back to the console kubectl run nginx deploy images nginx replicas 2 that's created and you can see here the parts are getting created. Um, that's the uh, the deployment and here is the replication replica set. So that's running and that's running too. Okay. Now let's go back to the console and see our workloads. Uh, we've got one deployment set namespace default. We've got two parts in there. Have we got any services? 
no applications will be nothing configuration and storage persistent volumes persistent volume claims and so on so workloads nginx deploy and um, cool so we didn't install the dashboard uh, we could see a lot of options here so that's the uh, the uh, deployment set we created CPU usage memory usage disk usage and the cluster and all these uh, commands manage parts so these are the individual parts what you can do is uh, you can edit this deployment if you want you can make changes to the um, uh, image for example container image instead of latest we can change that to 114 or something so that will do a rolling update I don't want to do that so what else we've got so we can delete this deployment actions auto scale expose rolling update scale kubectl get yaml if you want you can delete it um, details events so basically kubectl describe deploy nginx deploy less so basically this is the information that you are seeing in various places in this page that's it okay so let's expose the service expose uh, this application create a service because at the moment we don't have any service we need to expose this um, application so that we can um, access it from the external um, that will create load balancer and do the load balancing thing okay so let's expose it from the command line but before exposing it uh, let's just scale it let's see if it works kubectl scale deploy nginx deploy to 4 I think we are quite comfortable with the command line so let's check this out from the console um, actions scale to 4 scale does not have minimum availability okay for okay that's because we've got only like three uh, micro instances we only deployed three micro instances that's why uh, we couldn't deploy uh, more replicas that's okay let's go in there and scale it down to three scale okay managed parts um, well it says four parts are running that's okay okay um, we can get into one of the parts and we should be able to see the logs view logs yeah so that's the uh, the log file loading I don't think there will be any logs so it's trying to load the log from one of those uh, Parts. It's still loading. Create metric, create report, play. Okay, logs. Let's go back. I don't have patience at the moment. And uh, inside the pod, we've got just one container. And if you click the container, you should be able to see. Um, trying to see if we can get a shell into the container exact that it is nginx deploy okay so that's giving you a cloud shell machine and um, we are connecting to it at the moment this is basically same as kubectl exec minus it for interactive and for example I want to go into this part Control shift V and minus minus bin shell. It's it's basically this is how we would do um, using the command line from kubectl. And uh, 
there you go so the first command here is uh, initializing the environment for the uh, kubernetes configuration file and then the second command is running an exec getting a um, shell into a container basically i want bin shell that won't work because i need to uh, use minus it option uh, okay that's all looking good if I go to services I haven't got any services yet uh, the thing I wanted to do is to expose this application let's try and expose it expose port 80 target port is optional protocol TCP port mapping service type is load balancer node port or cluster IP I'm gonna leave it as load balancer and the service name will be nginx deploy let's expose it waiting for load balancer with external IP creating new services waiting for load balancer with external IP okay so back in here if you see here so that's the service we created and it's in the pending state the external IP which means it's currently um, in the process of creating the load balancer so it should be ready shortly so that's the service we created from the uh, web console let's wait for it to give it an IP address and then we should be able to connect to that IP address and see the uh, nginx welcome page okay so that's done it has created the service and we've now got an IP address let's copy that and if we go to services it says nginx deploy service load balancer and it's here the IP address if you click here so there you go we've got the uh, the nginx welcome page so that's the load balancer and the service the load balancing service will load balance between these three parts cool let's go ahead and delete this deployment delete um, go to services and then I want to delete the service click delete service is getting deleted and workloads okay so now we don't have any workloads or anything clusters okay I'm going to delete this cluster as well deleting the cluster it's gonna take like last time when I deleted the uh, the demo cluster that I created for uh, for the video it took about five minutes okay and um, let's go back to building and see if it has detected any free credits nope still nothing I think it may update once in a month or so cool um, I think that's it I wanted to show you G cloud container clusters list and the status is stopping cool and um, I always wanted to do um, some videos on the uh, the real cloud platform so all my videos explaining the concepts and um, tutorials about the kubernetes cluster uh, has always been on my local machine uh, with the local cluster um, so I now had an opportunity to test this on uh, GKE Google Kubernetes engine and I um, hope you found this useful so um, thank you so much for your time watching this video and um, um, if you like this video please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel um, to get notified about new um, videos about Kubernetes right time for bed and thank you so much watching this video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.